How to detach from people and situations. Let me know if this is you. You start talking to someone new and it feels amazing. You get all that rush of excitement and all those good positive feelings of feeling like, oh, this is possibly someone I could spend the rest of my life with. You start building memories and you start getting to know the person and learn about the person and you become more and more invested in them as time goes on. And as time goes on, a couple weeks pass, right? A month passes, two month passes, and slowly but surely, as you begin to learn about them, you learn also that they have, quote unquote, bad qualities. You learn that they're a human being, right? But sometimes you learn that the qualities about them, the way they treat you, or the situations that they put you in are more than you can handle, are more, are less than you deserve, whether it be a relationship or a friendship or even a family member. You feel like you need to get rid of this person because the only thing that comes when you're around this person or with this person is negativity, right? Whether you feel negatively or you think negatively, or you find yourself in bad situations. And now you want to get rid of this person. However, because you love so hard, because you become so invested in the person that someone is, because you build so many memories with them, it becomes difficult to let go of the person, even though they treat you badly. Even though you don't feel your best around them, even though you know you deserve better than them, you find it hard to let them go. You find it close to impossible to let them go because even when you try to set boundaries, even when you try to tell them, hey, this is it, we're not speaking no more, I'm moving forward with my life, I don't want you a part of my life because of this and this and this, this and this reason, even when you let them know this is it for you and them, they still find their way back to you. Because when you finally let them know that this is it, is the time when they choose to reach out to you and love bomb you and tell you how much they care about you, tell you how things are gonna change, tell you how they wanna change, tell you about their intention right? They love telling you about their intention. They love telling you that you didn't take things how they meant for you to take things. They love to make you feel like you misinterpreted or misunderstood the person that they are. And because you've built so many memories with this person, because you've been so invested with this person, you find it hard to not believe them when they say that. It strikes your emotions when they tell you how much they love and care about you. It strikes your emotions when they tell you how they plan to change, how they want to change, how they feel bad about the way that they treated you. And so you forgive that person. And when you forgive that person, you might see a difference for a couple of days, maybe even a couple of weeks. But rest assured, as time goes on, they revert to their normal everyday character. Your relationship dynamic, your friendship dynamic, who they are as a person remains the same. And suddenly you find yourself in the exact same situation that you just try to let go of. And you say to yourself, wow, as much as I want to get rid of this person in my life, I just can't. I just can't. And you're in a vicious cycle of knowing that a situation or friendship or relationship isn't right for you. You try to express that. You try to set boundaries. And somehow they come crawling back to you. How do you fix that? Right? 
I'm going to let you know how you stop that vicious cycle. The first thing you need to understand is that the only thing standing in the way of the future that you want and making the quote unquote right decisions in terms of detaching yourself from people that you know are not right for you, the only thing standing in your way is emotion. Why is emotion standing in your way? Because we're all human beings, right? We all feel things. Our emotions will motivate us to do certain things or not do certain things, to say certain things and not say certain things. And when we are controlled by our emotions, right? We are pushed in a direction that is not necessarily most beneficial for us or our future. Because a lot of times your emotions want to satisfy current you. Current you meaning in the moment, what would satisfy your short-term happiness? For example, you're in a toxic relationship. And in the toxic relationship, you finally break up with that person and tell them you're done with them, only for them to come back and apologize and tell you that they're going to change. Your emotions don't want to let go of the person because you're attached to the memories that you shared with the person. You're attached to the fact that you are still in love with the person. You're attached to the fact that you finally have someone who you felt like cared about you as much as you cared about them. You're attached, your emotions are attached to the fact that You know, you guys spend intimate moments together, share intimate thoughts and feelings, have shared trauma together. And so you find it hard to let go of that person, especially when they're reaching out to you. But your emotions are what is motivating you to continue that relationship and not detach from that person. Your emotions are what's motivating you to do what logically doesn't make sense in terms of the the benefit of your future and and, and having the benefit of living the life that you want to live, right? Because short-term happiness is being in that relationship, sharing that love with someone, even though it's not the right kind of love. Even though the relationship hasn't been working out, your, short, your short-term happiness wants to be in that relationship and feel that intimacy. But your long-term happiness needs to be in a sustainable, positive, healthy relationship with someone who respects you, respects your boundaries, and treats you the way that you deserve to be treated. But your emotions want to make you happy in the short term, not the long term. Because it's hard to make decisions on emotions that you would feel in the future. Because if you were making the logical decision by cutting that person off, you'd be looking ahead to how good you would feel when you finally get the thing or the goal or put your have the life, live the life that you want to be living in the future. Those are future feelings. But what do you feel now? And that's why you make the decision for the now. So the number one thing to detach yourself from people is to acknowledge how your emotions affect your decision making. How do you acknowledge your emotions affecting your decision making? You allow them to flow. You'd be like, okay. What does it mean to allow my emotions to flow? Well, have you ever been in a situation where the more you try to not like someone, the more you actually like that person? The more you fight your feelings for someone, the more you feel for that person. Why is that? Because as you're actually having an internal battle on how to feel about someone, 
how to suppress your feelings about someone, how to not think about them. You're actively thinking about them. I love giving the example. I'm sure you maybe you've heard the metaphor of the pink elephant, right? What's the first thing you think about when I tell you not to think about the pink elephant? You think about the pink elephant. Now, why is that? Because as you're actively trying to put your focus on not thinking about something, by association, you end up thinking about that thing. The energy spent trying not to do something specific or not to think about something specific actually ends up putting you in a position of thinking and focusing on that specific thing. But if you allow your emotions to flow through you and you allow yourself to feel those things, they just pass through you, right? You realize it's just a feeling. It shall pass, right? You don't always feel sad. You don't always feel lonely. You don't always feel depressed. You're not always angry. You feel those emotions in a specific situation at a specific time. Yes, those emotions are heightened if something triggers you, someone says something, something happens. But the emotion does pass. Eventually, you move forward and you continue living life. And you no longer feel angry. You no longer feel sad. You no longer feel depression. You no longer feel happiness. All of those emotions are temporary. And understanding that will allow you to let yourself feel things. Let yourself be attached to the person. Let yourself reminisce on the memories. Let yourself miss the person and and miss spending time with the person. Let yourself miss the intimacy. Acknowledge that, yes, I still love this person. I still have love for this person. I still want to be with this person. That's okay. It's natural to feel those things. It's natural for me to not want to let go of the memories that I've shared with this person. It's natural, excuse me, it's natural to acknowledge that I've had a lot of good times with this person. And it's making me want to continue my relationship or my friendship with this person. It's okay to acknowledge that. And as you acknowledge that, you allow it to pass through you. You allow yourself to feel what it is you're going to feel. And eventually, as time goes on, just stay patient. The feeling will pass. It doesn't have to pass right now, today, at this second. Not even in the next hour, not even in the next two, three days or two, three months. But eventually you take it day by day. You allow yourself to feel those things. You acknowledge that you are still just a normal human being for feeling emotions. And there's nothing wrong with that. And eventually those emotions will pass. They will pass through you. And having an understanding of how your emotions affect your decision making and allowing them to pass through you will stop them from pushing you to make a decision that negatively affects your long-term happiness. Because future you is only going to look back at current what is current you now, but will eventually be past version of you. Future you is only going to look back and say, damn, I wish when it was current me making the decision, I wouldn't have made an emotional decision because now I'm in a situation that's even more messed up. I'm with a partner and our relationship is even more toxic. I'm with a friend and the friendship has led me to an even worse place in my life. They're an even worse influence on me. Right? And the first step and the most important step to learning how to detach yourself from people is learning how to acknowledge how your emotions affect your decision making and allowing your emotions to pass through you. Don't fight them. Don't fight the feelings you feel about that person. Don't fight the memories you sh- you've shared with that person. Don't fight the desire to want to be loved and be intimate with someone and be close with someone. Because it only makes you human. And acknowledging that you're a human with natural emotions is perfectly fine. And then right after that, you can acknowledge, while I feel those things, 
while my emotions are making me want to be with you, and it's natural, I know that it is not beneficial for my long-term happiness, and I am most invested in making decisions that will positively affect my long-term happiness. Because in the end, when current me is making decisions for future me, future me gets to look back on the past and say that was the best decision you ever made.